80% of us who are watching right now could get storms and then 20% don't, or if this thing you know, shifts a little bit farther east in that 30 minutes, 50% of us may not get anything. That's a huge difference in what folks think, hey, it didn't really storm today. So that's what's the reason why we want to break into the firing zone. The firing zone is everything. You know, normally we see storms fire up in Oklahoma and then they march in, they're gnarly, they're nasty, big clouds coming in from the west. That is not going to be the case with this storm system. The dry line, the yellow line that you see the difference between humid air and dry air is going to be sitting right over us, right around lunchtime. Those west of the dry line, be too dry to produce storms. Those east of the dry line will get storms. So essentially, the farther east you live, the better storm chance that you're gonna have. Now, right now, we do have to track some rain and rumbles going across the River Valley and into Northwest Arkansas. We're knocking right on our doorstep in Fayetteville and Springdale, probably arriving within the next 20 minutes, next 30 minutes in Bentonville. Fort Smith, we've got it right over us. In fact, we've got some good lightning strikes, especially down Garrison Avenue right now. We've got some on and off Rain showers in Clarksville, Ozark, Mulberry, Paris, Boonville, they get heavier once you cross the state line into Poto and Worcester. All right, so let's talk about the severe threats for tomorrow. The biggest storms are not going to be here. They're going to be towards eastern and northeastern Arkansas. As soon as the storms fire, they're going to be in their infant stage. They're going to grow, and it usually takes a, a, a thunderstorm at least 30 to 45 minutes in order to, be, to really become severe. So if they're firing off towards the west, that will give them enough time to get nasty for us. If they fire up, let's say right here, by the time 30, 45 minutes passes, you know, most of the gnarly storms are just towards our east. Yeah, we could get some of the first downpours, but then all pushes east. So the firing zone's everything. So worst storms off towards Little Rock, Conway, Jonesboro, and Paragold. But in the morning, watch out for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. In the morning, there could just be some light showers every once in a while. What we're really focused on is, is that dry line and where the storms pop up. Before then, there would probably just be some clouds and some stray showers. We have a little bit higher chance in the River Valley as those storms are passing on through. So let's talk about the firing zone. So if it's towards our west, you know, the yellow area showing the storms where they could develop, you will live anywhere east of here, that's where the storms will get worse. So let's say the firing zone is over northwest Arkansas. Most of us are going to get rain at some point. However, let's move the firing zone, you know, just 30 minutes like Darren Bob was just talking about. That means if you live in Bentonville Rogers, you may not get a storm at all. You could get a straight shower in the morning, but not a big deal. Salazar, same story. No storms for us. We could get a storm maybe in Fort Smith, Van Buren, but let's shift just, just even a little bit more. Let's say the system moves only two miles per hour faster than it is right now. That changes everything. That means only Clarksville, Paris, Boonville, and Waldron are getting storms, and all of us towards the west are thinking, where's our storms? We think it's going to be somewhere in the middle. So when you kind of balance everything out, we've got a 50-50 shot. I know that's crazy, but 50-50 shot for Forest Man Van Buren, Huntsville with the storms. You go to northwest Arkansas, it's down to a 30-40% shot for some of us. We've got a decent shot, though, in Clarksville, Paris, and Boonville, and Waldron. So we'll watch for that. Storms coming in from the west. We do have some rumbles of thunder coming in this evening. Not a big deal, nothing severe, but it's kind of wet out there right now. And then uh, scattered showers come up tomorrow morning. Darren, those where the storms start to fire up, but once they get out of here, look how much bigger they get in the central Arkansas. So we're right on the edge. There are some of us, Darren, that are going to have tomorrow, and you think, what storm? <laughs> I didn't get a storm. That's amazing. And, that's, and then some of us could get a good storm. That's so where we'll that see. firing line comes into play. Oh, so My tricky. goodness. My goodness, yeah. All right, Matt, thanks. All right, guys, after just one season at Arkansas, Nick Smith Jr. has officially declared for the NBA draft. It's a move that comes with little surprise. I mean, the latest CBS mock draft has him being selected fourth.